hello my beautiful Scorpios how are you I know you had a great month most of you if you didn't yet then it's coming don't worry because you've got a lot of stuff coming this year you have Jupiter that's moved into your sign um, and if you're Scorpio ascending then it's in your first house so you have like this growing and expansion and stuff that's really and you know what it's time for you guys it really is um, because you guys are so different like you will work and work and believe and work and you won't ever say anything you just do it like you do what needs to get done right so um hello hello welcome everyone those of you that don't know me my name is cindy i am the modern day spiritual advisor i use multiple modalities including tarot and astrology hypnotherapy mediumship all kinds of stuff to help you on your path so um I did want to mention this because a lot of people don't watch my dailies, but they do watch my monthly. So uh, I've had a special that I wanted to thank my YouTubers for. My YouTubers and all my social medias, my fans and followers. Um, so what I've done until through October 31st, so you have till today, but I may extend it to tomorrow because we have people all over the world. Um, so what I've done is offered a 30 minute reading for $60 and an hour tarot reading. So 30 minute tarot reading, hour tarot reading for 120. That's a huge discount. And the 30 minute tarot readings, I don't even offer that as a service. I'm, I just wanted to thank everyone for growing this channel so fast and always loving and supporting me. So, um, if you're wanting to order a reading for me or have a session with me, um, now's probably the time. I don't know that I'll bring this back. It was my very first special. So, um, the links will be down, the link to my website will be down below. You can order it from there. Also, if you're interested in the cards or any of the gels or like the salt baths that I use or any, any products or any of that, I have my own page on Amazon. You, that link will be down below. It's an affiliate link. So what I'm going to do with this, because the aspects we're going to be talking about is the full moon in Taurus, which is on the 4th and the 5th, and then the new moon in Scorpio, which is on the 18th and 19th. And so what I'm going to do after I release all my monthly videos is I'm going to release uh, the steps to take or to set your intention, or you can call it a ritual if you want, uh, for the full moon. So um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do for that. So let's talk about this full moon in Taurus that we're going to have. So we're going to have this full moon in Taurus on the 4th or the 5th, depending on where you are in the world. <clears throat> Excuse me. I drank coffee right before I got on film. So um, this full moon in Taurus, let's talk about, so full moons are about gains and completions, but it's also about letting go of things, right? And I explain it this way. So if from your whole self and your higher self and your whole being, you can accept unlimited amounts of energy. But in this resonance on this earth, in this vibration, there is only so much energy that can run through you, right? And so if you're holding on to things that no longer serve you or situations that no longer serve you or people that no longer serve you, and I know that sounds harsh, but you know, sometimes we just grow apart, right? So if if you hold on to those things or past trauma and you guys have had a lot of trauma growing up i don't think people understand that but you've seen a lot trust me i know i can see it um and so those things because you're so brave and you're such a warrior and you just kind of just do what you need to do right because of that you may have this past trauma that you didn't even realize you had because you just kept going and you just kept living and then it went years and years and you don't even realize that you have it right and so that all of that is energy that you're holding in your field and when you do that the new energy the new blessings the new possessions the new things they they can't come in because there's no room right and so as you release and as you let go and as things come to completion it runs through you and then you can get your blessings your blessings can come in your possessions can come in your situations your people your relationships they can all come in so um, this is what the full moon is good for is for you to sort of set your intention and understand come to an understanding and then let go so that your blessings can come in right and so the full moon being in taurus taurus loves luxury and comfort and routine but taurus also loves tactile right so taurus likes physical so i feel like physical manifestations will be coming in for you as you release in your house where 
the full moon is going to be in. Okay, so we have um, and plus, so we have Scorpio. Um, I mean, sorry, we have Taurus. The full moon in Taurus is going to be in your seventh house. Okay, the sun is going to be in your first house where Jupiter is there already helping you grow, helping you expand, helping the things come to fruition for you, right? And then you have Neptune in your fifth house. So you have Neptune, the sun, and then the moon, which are doing this trine, right? And so this is going to be really lovely energy for you to get through some things and some other things to happen for you. Because Neptune is like, Neptune's about the hidden realms. Neptune is like Pisces over in the 12th house, right? So uh, Neptune is uh that hidden support it's the collective conscious it's the emotional mind but it's also faded stuff or or things that are divinely brought to you right so things that are on your karmic path to be able to receive because maybe you did it in another life or maybe you did all the work in another life and now it's time for you to receive right so that's neptune so with this trine going on a trine is this beautiful energy that's going to expand and bring forth things right bring forth situations bring forth people bring forth finances whatever this is for you so um the full moon being in your seventh house the seventh house is all about relationships it's all about mirroring it's all about people coming into your life and you learning boundaries right and so the full moon in Taurus in that seventh house is telling me that there are some things that you're going to have to look at to let go because you have so many other things coming towards you, right? So there are some things that you're having to learn your boundary about in this full moon. But I don't feel like you're actually, I don't feel like you're learning the boundary. I feel like you're, it's just time to let go of some things. That's what I feel like for you in the seventh house. Now the first house is, so that's opposing, it's the sun. So... I feel like with Jupiter and the sun in that house for you, I feel like there's manifestations that are coming towards you. And as you can see, you have some things coming in the month of November. And so with Neptune also, this faded stuff, this this divine guided stuff, right? Or things or people. Um, with Neptune in that fifth house, the fifth house is about love affairs and creativity. So for some of you, I feel like you're trying to create something and that, and Neptune is going to bless you and help you help it move forward, right? With, uh, the full moon in Scorpio. So, I mean the full moon in Taurus. So let me just say it this way. As you release what no longer serves you, I feel like you'll get blessings in your first and in your fifth. Okay. So that's what I'm feeling with this trine for you. Um, Neptune again is about, I mean, the fifth house is again about creativity and love affairs. So I feel like some of you are going to meet some people. It's like time for you to meet some people. It's like time for you to have that faded person come in. Okay. So that's what's going to be happening. I'm going to do a new moon video for the Scorp uh, for it being in Scorpio uh, in a couple of weeks. Okay. So let's get started what i've done here is i've changed it up of course because i have that gemini side um so this is your emotional state this is like the faded stuff this is spirit and then this is spirit's advice and this is the physical stuff and then this is your financial card and this i'm sorry this is your love card and this is your financial card so this is past present and future so what i mean by future is late november into december okay so in your past it looks like you you were celebrating with family. You were celebrating with friends. You were happier. Things were coming to light. Things were happening for you. It was so good, right? And that's kind of how you were feeling. That was the perfect state that spirit wanted you in and you wanted you in so that you could receive all these blessings, right? So if I feel like what happened here was the five of swords. So some things came to light. Maybe some people's actions came to light. I feel like uh, maybe you didn't even know this thing was going on, but you kind of had a feeling and then that came to light. So whatever it was, you were taking action and doing what needed to get done, right? Because you were in a happy state and it feels like some of you had found out some things and it doesn't even have to be a bad thing. Like sometimes I feel like this is for some of you, it's like the universe was hiding something until it was time for you to get it right and that's what i feel like was going on in this recent past now in your present um you have the six of i'm sorry the four of swords and so this is about um uh, this is going to be going on now till 
two weeks, right? And let me say this about the full moon. The full moon energy, you'll be receiving the benefits of that for about two weeks, okay? No, I'm sorry, fixed signs are a month. So you should be receiving it for a month, that energy, okay? Now, the reason, before I get to this, because I forgot to say this, the reason the full moon and the new moon are so important is because they are going to be hitting on the eclipse point. Remember where we had those eclipse? So they're going to be hitting on that eclipse point, mean, meaning that they're going to reactivate everything. So just when you think, oh my God, am I not going to get any more? Is it going to stop coming? It's reactivating again. Okay. So don't worry. You got a great year coming, Scorpio. So for you guys, again, the full moon energy is going to be for about, for about a month for you because all fixed signs are going to, um, they're going to be able to uh, benefit for a month for that full moon. So, um, in your present, you have the Four of Swords, which is telling me that you have done everything possible in whatever situation you're thinking about or have been doing. There is no more that you can do, okay? And sometimes you just have to let it lie and focus on something else. You'll pick it up later when the thing comes to you or the situation comes to you or the person comes to you. But for now, whatever this is for you, it's about you letting go. I keep hearing letting go and letting God. That's funny that I, I think I heard this for Scorpios last time. So they're saying let go and let God and move over here and do this, uh, this other stuff because you've already done everything possible for this. Okay. So this is in different areas of your, for each one of you, because this is such a big group. But if you have been working on something and it's just not coming through, or this person is just not understanding, or this thing is just not going, they're saying, let it lie. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let it lie. Come over here and focus on something else because it's, I feel, I keep hearing, let us do our work so that they can come in, so that those things and those people and those situations can come in, right? That's what I'm hearing. So I feel like, because this is in your present and this is what's going to be coming. Some of you, it's work. Some of you, it's love, like romance. Some of you, it's family. Okay. So I'm talking about this. So the page of coins, and this is for the, from now to the next two weeks. And I don't think this is just one thing. I think this is a couple of things. You're going to be receiving news that is going to be felt on a financial level, on a um, possession level. Because the coins to me or the pentacles is finance, material stuff. So this is going to be felt on a material level. Okay. Now, this is news that you're going to be receiving. When you get this news, whatever you do with it, it will grow, right? So for some of you, I feel like this is a person that comes in to help you and then sort of gives you that break or sort of gives you that inspiration or sort of gives you that missing piece that you were wanting for this project or for this thing to work out or for whatever this is. I feel like that. So you'll be dealing with that for the next two weeks or in the next two weeks. And it can be now to the next two weeks. Okay. Now in your near future. So the end of November into December, this is you. I know you're a water sign, but this is your characteristic and this is how you'll be thinking. This is what you'll be feeling. This is kind of the actions you'll be taking. Y'all know if you've seen me before, the king of wands never fails at anything they just have to want to do that thing okay sounds a little bit like scorpio actually <laughs> so i feel like if these projects or these the situations or these relationships if it's something that you're really wanting you're not going to fail and i feel like you will be feeling that and seeing evidence of that at the end of november and into december okay so um plus the king of wands has financial gains always I don't know how they do it, but they're always financially gained. <laughs> always. It just happens. So I feel like that's where you're coming to, to be stepping into this characteristic of passion, of happiness, of not letting go of something and having such passion for it that it just comes through. Like you see it in your head and you make it happen. You make it physical. Okay. So this is the magician at the end of November and into December. It looks like you will be pulling from what you know and um, making things happen 
and I feel like you're going to get very centered. You're going to know exactly what to do. And I feel like you're like, okay, well, if I need to take more action, that's what I'm going to do. If I need to put more uh, emotion into it, then that's what I'm going to do. If I need to like invest more time in this, then that's what I'm going to do. If I need to think outside the box, then that's what I'm going to do. Like, I feel like you get really, really centered and clear about what you're going to do. And because this is such a big group, I'm seeing all kinds of scenarios, so I'm not going to make it detailed. So let's go into your love area. So you have the queen of coins in your romance. So for some of you, I told you it's time. Some of you that are single, this person's coming in. And this the queen of coins, they're not gender specific for me in the, in the deck. Uh, this is more about the characteristic. So this queen of coins is a very beautiful queen. The character, her characteristic is that she loves building a community, but that she helps a lot of people, right? And she's very giving, but she works really hard. And so oftentimes she can be faulted because she likes really expensive, beautiful, luxurious things around her. But her thought is, listen, I worked for it. And I, it's not like I don't give to people. I do give to people. And if I want luxury around me, then that's what I'm going to have. So um, she's very stable. She's very solid. Um, or it can be he. It can be a he's very stable. He's very solid, very giving, very loving, um, really listens to someone when they speak to them. That's who this person is. Like they really listen and then they try to help, right? And they usually have the resources to help. So I feel like in your romance area, this person is coming in. For some of you, this is that life partner that you've been waiting for, right? Now for others of you, and this is going to be going on in the month of November. For others of you, I feel like if you're partnered already, I feel like um, you, some of you are going to the stage where you're getting very, very stable with each other, very comfortable with each other, and very loving with each other, like helping each other back and forth. Like, let me say this, you may not, like you may have been married a long time. Yeah, I'm seeing where like some of you may have been married a long time, but you find this space again where you can love each other in whatever actions you need to take, right, for each other. Very loving that way. So um, that's what I feel like is going to be going on in the month of November is that you both will come to this understanding of what to do next together. Not fight against each other, but with each other. Makes sense. So your financial card. In the month of November, you have the Knight of Coins. That's offerings, money, money offerings, financial offerings, physical possession offerings. Like somebody is going to come in or you're going to get a raise or you're going to get the job or whatever this is. You get an offering felt on a material financial level. So I'm telling you, you've got a great year coming. You just have some things that you have to let go of. And I don't think that you, you uh, like, it's not like you haven't consciously let go of these things. It's like these things are, you didn't even know they were there, some of them. Okay, some of them you do, but some of them you didn't even know they were there. And so as you go in and you look and as you clear, all these blessings come in. And I see a great year for you guys. So congratulations. Um, I'm going to turn over this last card. This is going to be the overall outcome and the theme you'll be working through in the month of November. Oh my goodness, look at you. You got another offering. I'm telling you, you guys are going to have like a great year. Look, coins, coins, swords, but this is an offering. So this comes from nowhere. Let me say this. If you think it's going to be one way, you got something else coming too. Like you have that and that coming. This offering comes from nowhere and it changes your life. Like you're like, finally, yes, yes. I kind of feel like that. Okay, so you'll, I don't know when this offering is coming in in November because this is one that just comes from nowhere. So congratulations. Let me know in the comments below when you get this offering or these offerings. I'm really excited for you guys because it's time. And y'all know I love my Scorpios and I want you guys have to, to have a great year because it's the energy is there for you to have a great year. All right, my gorgeous ones, don't forget if you want to see me, uh, be sure to click on my website, the link below. 
Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Love you, love you, love you. Bye.